What's up, beautiful people? Thanks for tuning in. I want to show you how I created that look using products made by this beautiful couple. And their company name is Dr. Andrea Bridges Body Canvas. I started off using their moisturizing shampoo. It's very liquid-like, so I really was excited to see how my hair was going to respond to this product. So starting off on really old hair, I went ahead and soaked it with water. And now I'm back on camera just to show you how I wash my hair. I put it in four sections, and then right at the root, I went ahead and put the shampoo. The shampoo has key ingredients like shea butter, water, I also see avocado oil, coconut oil, argan oil, aloe vera, and much more. As you can see too, it lathered right up. My hair did not feel stripped after washing it, after rinsing it out, I should say. But you can also see that I can detangle with this product. Plus, after washing my hair two times with the shampoo, I went ahead and used their hydrating conditioner. It has key ingredients like shea butter, water, olive oil, jojoba oil, birch leaf, and much more. I love that conditioner. I just gotta tell you guys. As you can see, I can finger detangle with this product. It is slipping through my hands with ease. Especially on soaking wet hair. I let this product sit in my hair for about five to 10 minutes with a shower cap on and then I rinsed it out with cool water. After rinsing it out, I did use some of their shea cream and then twisted my hair up and let that dry. I would say it's about 85% dry and now we're gonna go to styling. So I split my hair in two and then in the back I split it down into two sections trying to create some type of zigzag part. Do not laugh at me, okay? It's something. So with the first section, I am going to add Dr. Andrea Bridges Body Canvas Shea Cream. It has key ingredients like shea, of course, olive oil, jojoba oil, and fragrance oils. That is it. I'm going to add a little bit more of their Shea Cream and put that on the ends of my hair and throughout the rest of the hair. We're gonna start in the back with the two sections. So take one section and begin to flat twist upward. Now I did have to practice this over and over again and I'm still not perfect with it. So don't give up if it doesn't look right the first time. You can either flat twist or braid going upward. It's up to you. Now let's focus on the front section. I'm gonna create two side sections on opposite sides of my head, as you can see here. Make that part as straight as possible. Then with that section, I'm going to create three flat twists going upward. So you can go ahead and spritz that section with water and then add more of the shea cream and then begin flat twisting. And as I said, if you don't know how to flat twist just yet, you can braid it going over. After putting my scarf on, then those baby edges lay. I took down that bantu knot you saw right there. I know it was a quick clip of it. But I took that down and created mini twists so that the back flat twist that I made can blend seamlessly with the top mini twist I'm creating right here. And the rest of this tutorial is pretty easy. You're just gonna make mini twists on the top of your head. Now if you do plan to you know, move it a certain way or lay it a certain way, 
um, make sure that your parts are straight. This is what we are working with, okay? You see how I just made mini twists um, so that it can look seamless with the back? Grabbing some bobby pins, and now I'm going to, this is how I do it. I don't know how other people do it, but I like to grab all the twists together if possible, twist it around and around, and then tuck it with a bobby pin. I move it every which way so that my pompadour can lay whatever way I want so this part of the video is up to you whichever way you want this to look make it happen captain okay so I liked what I did right here and now my look is complete I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial. I am digging this pompadour-ish look. The good thing about this style is that when you are creating your pompadour, it can lay whichever way you want to. This is the way that I am satisfied with it. So mix it around, experiment with this look. Take it, take out the bobby pin and move it around whichever way I want. So that's why this protective style is pretty cool because you can create different looks, at least in the front, um, throughout the week. Just pull it down, make a little swoop moment. How you could throw a hat on if you wanted to as well. Just wanted to show a quick way that you can rock a protective style during this cold winter season. Okay, even if it's not even snow on the ground, you guys, it is cold at the end of the day. Um, so you want to make sure that you are keeping your ends protected and moisturized. And I know for a fact that this product has been doing that because I've been using it for a week, uh, for actually a week straight. Be sure to check out this company because I said so. Okay, thanks. As always, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you later. Peace. But seriously, if you're looking for a brand that caters to dry, four-type hair, I would most definitely suggest Dr. Andrea's Body Candy.